Hey everybody, Dishadar here, and this video is just going to be talking about uh, my spiritual religious updates for up until now, I suppose. Um, so I just wanted to make this video because, you know, um, yesterday I was trying to make a video um, about something I can't even remember now, just so stressed out. And it was raining a whole lot over here in this area. And it after it rained, there was this huge, excuse me, there was this huge um, flood uh, near the creek that I live next to. And its water level basically burst its banks um, in certain areas. And it was just, it, it increased a good, I want to say, from good estimation, a good 10 feet, 10, 12 feet. And um, it uh, burst its banks in some places, um, flooded some areas in other places. And my ritual space happened to be uh, near an area. It's wide. The area near the creek, it's very wide, but it's kind of shallow. And my space got flooded like you wouldn't believe. Like, I went there. Just like a few minutes ago, I just came from there from investigating and all my stuff. Well, not all my stuff. Um, thankfully, I thought ahead because a few years ago there was this huge flood, worse than now, than the one that just happened yesterday, where um, this lake essentially it almost stopped existing because it almost got swept up. The a side of the lake almost got um, penetrated, and the whole lake would have been drained essentially. Thankfully that didn't happen, but it was that bad, and the street collapsed and all that, and it was flooding everywhere. Sierra, come. So, um, yeah, so because of that, and I knew how every now and again the, the creek burst its banks, I decided to get some rope and my bins that I have outside because I don't bring my religious materials where I live because I don't need them getting thrown out by my parents. And I don't need any of that unnecessary drama when I'm trying to do spirituality. That's why I don't pray or anything when I'm in the house. And uh, so I got some rope and I got some bins um, that I bought from my local store. And I basically got the ropes and tied them to two different trees. And I basically made uh, something like a system, I suppose, so that even if the water comes and is you know high enough to sweep my stuff away, they'll be secured because it's strapped, it's essentially tethered, a uh, tether system, so it's tethered to the trees and it can't get swept away. Like even once everything's tied, even if you try your best, it's impossible unless you take the knot out that secures the whole thing. And I am so thankful I made it because yesterday, well, yesterday when it rained and today when I checked it, my stuff almost got swept away. Like the boxes that contain all my materials, my books, my candles, my everything. Um, that's like, like what, two, I want to say somewhere around two hundred dollars worth of stuff. Two, three hundred dollars worth of stuff. Almost got swept away. And I feel so fortunate because when I did it, it, you could see how it pushed against it and it was almost there. But the straps held strong thankfully and it's still there but my ritual space that I showed you in my video my ritual space part one that is no more um, it's full of sand for one it went up above the uh, altar the, um, the altar in the center and it swept it it didn't sweep it away because it was so heavy everything you know stacked on one top of each other it was too heavy to move but it's covered in sand and the pillars that are around it three of the four are had got swept and out of the three one of them got fully swept away the other two they're still there they just got swept to uh, a few feet like a, a yard or so away so I'm, I'm basically trying to figure out what I'm going to do now because I can't have a ritual space so close to get you know it, the whole thing could have gotten swept away my boxes the, those are fine those are fine but my 
ritual space where I do my celebrations, holidays, and all that, I can't have it there. So I have to move again. The first time I had to move was in my ritual space part two. I'm probably just going to re-upload it because I didn't really like the quality of that video anyway. It, um, it got raided by some godforsaken children messing up my stuff. So then I moved it to where I moved it now. And now that area is bad because it's so flooded. So now it's like... I don't, I have to move it again and I don't know where, I'm probably going to have to do it differently where it's like, I don't have an altar or anything, like I'm basically just, I don't have a central area where I do all my ritual. Now I do have another area, um, a meditation area, it's essentially a stone circle, and that place I can do ritual, because it doesn't, where it is, it's, um, that area, it's wide, so it can hold a lot of flood water, and it's very deep. It's a good, I want to say seven, probably seven, eight feet. And the way it's situated, it's it's far away from the ritual, I'm not from the ritual space. It's far away from the creek itself. Not very far away, but enough so that even if it hits a 12 foot marker, it's not going to mess up my stuff. So I'm probably just going to extend that area, widen it a bit and clear out that trash too because now it's some more trash clear that trash out and make move my stuff there instead let me see the time 6 30. is that 6 30? yeah 6 30. <laughs> sorry guys so right now I'm kind of in a daze because it's like i just like when i say just i mean like within this month no within last month because it's july i had to rededicate my space because I decided to switch the elements, the elemental directions, so I had to do a ritual for that. And that took nearly three hours to do and that was extremely draining because I haven't done a ritual three hours long in a while. So, you know, I had to take breaks because I just felt energetically, I just felt exhausted. And so I just finished that within the past month, past month, and now it's like I have to do it again. I have to re-consecrate the space, but I think, I mean, it's been raining for two weeks, like straight, it's just rain, 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 well, not now, of course, but every day, it's some rain, and I just, I really have to figure out what I'm going to do now, because I can't keep doing this, where I'm moving my space, something happens, I got to move it again, I got to move it again, you know, this is like my, what? One, two, my, this is this will be my third move. Fourth move. Fourth move. Because in the first one, that's when I wasn't really good and at the whole when I was a first convert. The second time, that was my first move, and I had to move over to where the kids were messing with my stuff. So then I had to move that to a different area, and then the area that I moved it to kept getting flooded even a little bit of rain where it was how it was positioned with the rest of the land it would get flooded so I had to move again to the space where I have it now and that space it's so close to the uh, creek that if it overflows my stuff would get swept away and get sandbarred I have to move it again to the new area where I used to, where I that I developed for my meditations and that's gonna have to be my new ritual space and it's just so stressful and emotionally draining and energetically just draining because it's like, again, again, really decent Like, but yeah, this is just like a vent piece. So it's not really instructive or informative or anything like that. It's just, I just needed to vent and put it online because I just feel so upset. Now, I count my blessings now because... My all of my stuff could have gotten swept away. So what it could have how it could have been is my ritual space got swept up and all my materials got swept up. Now I can do fine without a ritual space. Is that you know, so long as I have my materials. But if my materials and my ritual space was gone, my ritual space off that's a lot of money I dedicated to getting that baby up and running. And oh man, if that got swept away, I'd just be like, you know what? just I, I don't know how I can keep on like this because that was it's a lot of money and a lot of hard work I put into getting that little bit of money. I had to scrounge before I got this job that I had I had to when I say I had to scrounge for money like 
I had to scream. I didn't do anything illegal, anything, you know, bad like that. But it's just, when I talk about, I had to make every dollar count. I had to make every dollar count. And like I said, it was like two, 200, maybe somewhere around $300 to get all of my stuff. And boy, it was a struggle. But I'm glad that I kept those tethers up. One of them, actually, I didn't tether all the way. I didn't put the front part, the front straps on it. Um, the top straps on it, I mean, on the front. And it almost got swept, but I had socks. See, I have it. It's like, this is the tray. Then I have the rope connecting to it. Then it splits off and goes around it. And it closes on the other end where it ties to another tree. So it's stuck in the middle. And the way I have it tied so tight, it also goes around the bottom. So the, it could have flipped over and just got flipped away but fortunately i had the strap so high and so tight that it couldn't move well it moved but it couldn't move drastically like a few inches but yeah i just wanted to make this post because i just i have to find a new ritual space you know my materials are well i don't feel comfortable moving my materials because that's money sensitive so i'm probably not going to be moving that and i like where it is now so if it floods if it rains, no one can get to it. It's deep in the woods. I don't have to worry about it. So I'm probably going to keep that where it is. I'm probably going to keep them separate, which was something I actually thought would happen anyway. I, not all these moves, but I thought that I'd probably have to separate my stuff. So if one thing goes bad, at least it's just in one area. Can you have to go to a totally different area to go get the other thing. And it's so far apart, one couldn't figure out where they were. So... I just wanted to, this is just a vent piece, um, goodness, so um, I'm not going to start looking for a ritual space now, it's just, Luna Sod's coming up like really soon, like in what, three weeks, or two, no not two weeks, like two and a half weeks, three weeks, so I got to really figure out what I'm going to do, so uh, this is Dishadar here, thanks for watching subscribe like all that good stuff please thank you um have a good day and damn it i gotta find a new space <laughs> all right see y'all later